Hey guys, so this is my second video here. Um, again, my name is Sharon Rao and I'm a first year medical student at the University of Nottingham. I also work as a student blogger for the Careers and Employability Service here in my university um, in the UK. So today's video that I'm going to be making is, um, is about what I'm going to be doing during the summer and why I'm starting so early. So in this video, I want to talk about the different kinds of international opportunities that are um, available for medical students. Um, a lot of them can either be clinic-based, um, so for example, working in the hospital, or some of them can be research-based. So it kind of depends on you what kind of program you're interested in. And my first advice is to start by narrowing down the country that you want to work in. So for example, I knew that I wanted to work in Canada for the summer of 2020. So during my winter break, I was essentially looking into applications so because I knew that I wanted to work in Canada, the next step for me was figuring out the kind of internship that I wanted to do, whether it was going to be a clinical-based internship or a research-based internship. Um, because I'm open to both, I actually ended up applying to both of those programs. The next step would be to finalize the institutions that you would want to work at or work for. For example, if you're interested in working at a university or if you're interested in working at an independent lab, it's really important that you finalize and shortlist the institutions and organizations that you want to work for so that gives you a better idea of where you'll be applying. So the next step would be to look at the requirements and deadlines um, for the applications of these programs. So a lot of the programs that I applied to were actually um, just to email the hiring manager but a lot of the programs actually had full-on questionnaires and full-on um, tests that took a bit of time. So if you know that applications have deadlines that are in um, December, it's really important that you actually start working on them all the way in November because a lot of these programs take in applicants on a roll basis so they don't wait until the end of the deadline they actually take in um, people as soon as they get suitable candidates and then the next step would be actually applying so right now I am currently actually in the last leg of my applications um, by the end of this week I should have submitted everything that I need to submit for the institutions that I plan to work at in Canada thank you guys very much for watching